Welcome, lovely Aries, to your general timeless reading. I will begin your reading with crystal scrying and continuing on with the tarot, some general guidance with the oracle, and also some general financial guidance as well. Okay, let's go ahead and begin, lovely Aries, Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth. I ask that you please give me the most important information, please, for Aries. For this timeless general reading, please, Spirit, thank you. Wow, okay, right off the bat, Aries, I am feeling this humongous opening of the crown chakra, the sixth chakra. Okay, so what I'm getting here is many of you are getting ready to experience, if you're not already, um, a huge increase in psychic abilities uh, to the frontal area, to the uh, occipital area of the head. Um, if you're not used to feeling these feelings, it's going to feel like a big rush or a high, but it's a spiritual high. It's a beautiful feeling, but it's almost overpowering. But it's, it's something like when you feel it, you want more of it. You want to... Uh, you want to bask in the energy of this, okay? Um, so that's how you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. If, if this is new to you, it's a very beautiful feeling. And when this happens, that means you are in direct connection with God, the Holy Divine, okay? So it's a really good time uh, if you can just quiet your mind and allow the process and really... Um, you know, it, it's also a really good time to, if you have any questions or if you want to be, um, if you want to see or hear uh, messages from spirit, uh, to do so as well. All right, spirit, where would you like for me to go, please, for Aries? Wow, this is very overpowering and beautiful. I heard bask again. So spirit's definitely wanting you to bask in this energy as it comes. Okay, my heart, my heart is feeling heavy. Why spirit? Why is my heart feeling heavy? It's almost like a tug. What's going on here? Okay, thank you. Okay, who is Aries? Leaving behind. Okay, so Aries. You're coming through with a big head. And in this instance, it's telling me someone who's very confident. Now, this isn't like... Uh, the negative meaning of it, okay? Uh, but someone who has a lot of confidence, uh, someone who is a leader, emperor type energy, um, someone who knows what they want, where they're going in life, okay? Someone who has, it, it's feeling like someone who has made a big decision here because of the expression on the face. The face is showing kind of like, it's not, it's not like, sadness but at the same time it is um both eyes are open which tells me you're seeing something clearly uh the mouth is open but it's not like a shocked look it's not frowning anything like that it's just open kind of like when you see someone who is in deep thought about something and they just may have their mouth naturally open that's what i'm seeing here but it it has a a hint of sadness coming with it. So what I'm feeling like, uh, because in the background, I'm seeing people. So you, you may be making a choice or have already made a choice uh, to step away from a group of people or setting strong boundaries with them. Some of you, this could be walking away from one job because you're you're seeing a, a new path. Uh, 
you know, you know exactly what you want to manifest in your life and it's not where you've currently been. So you're releasing that. Some of you, this could just be energies I'm feeling um, of possibly past people in your life that you've been hanging on to and you're releasing that um, so that as you move forward towards your heart's dreams and goals, um, you're going to be able to uh, reach those goals. Now, I am seeing there is some struggle with this. Okay, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that heart tug. Some of you, this may be a decision that has taken some time or will take some time to actually move forward with because of the heart strings. Now, for a few of you, I'm actually getting that as you walk away, um, more will be revealed about a certain group of people that will uh, almost shock you. But I don't really want to, again, say shock because the expression on your face is more of deep thought and a little bit of hurt, tugging at the heart. Uh, so there may be some hurtful things that you find out about a certain person, place, situation, group of people that um, it just doesn't settle well with you. Okay. All right. So give me more, please. What is the most important information for Aries for this timeless reading? Here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Who is Aries? And pull it. Okay. I see. Yeah. And you're okay. So spirit is pulling my finger this way. As well. Yeah. Okay. So spirit's showing me two things. Thank you, spirit. I'm literally being shown in the first of the second set of visions. I'm seeing you coming through as a dog. Basically what I'm seeing is the moon card. And uh, if it comes out in the tarot, I'll show you. Uh, but I'm seeing the same card that's in this deck, the moon card. Okay. I'm seeing one dog, which is representing you, loyalty, best friend, unconditional love, protector, things like that. Okay. You're quiet. You're peaceful. You're looking up at the moon. Um, and then you have this wolf in this deck. It's a wolf. And this wolf is like a gripey type energy. Someone just yak, 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 you know, um, chaos, whatever. And... <clears throat> The second vision I was shown, I'm literally seeing you laying in a casket. And that's telling me there's some kind of end of a cycle and a rebirth heading on to a new beginning for you. Okay. So, again, we are looking at something here where something's ending in order for a beautiful new beginning to take place. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the tarot. Right, Spirit, Holy Divine, please give me the most important information for Aries. I hope you guys are doing great today. I truly do. I'm sending you each very much love. Reverse or upright? Upright. We have a page of cups. Okay. All right, give me more. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you see how this person is immersed under the water? Okay, so again, I feel like the spiritual gifts, You make sure to use your uh, intuitive abilities with some kind of direction for your path uh, because I feel like there's something that has to do with these open abilities. There's something that has to do with this about... A choice something for your okay and what do we have here okay two of cups yeah many of you this could be love page of cups could be a love offer um that's not going to be for everyone and remember guys love does not have to mean intimate partnership okay um 
but there's definitely i feel like there's some kind of beautiful offer here coming in towards you but it's going to take collective you going deep within and allowing spirit to guide you with this okay so the best example i can give you is so just bear with me okay so a few days ago i turned on my youtube app okay to watch you know see what was on or whatever and the very first thing that popped up there was this guy on there i don't want to say the name or company or whatever you know because to each their own but okay so i saw someone advertising it was a guy and he was uh i forget the exact words but it was something like in other words um how to uh keep a woman or a female uh wanting you more or how to how to attract a woman something like that and i was like normally i don't click on that kind of stuff and i felt the strong urge of like hey I need to get updated on this. What are people saying? And I, I never do that, like I said. So I clicked on it and I began watching this, this man and he was saying stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, try that with me, buddy. <laughs> stuff that may be true for some, may be true for people who are still very lo low vibrational. But I'm thinking as I'm watching this, okay, if someone does that to me, I'm out of here. Better not treat me that way. You know, that's that's the, the thought I'm getting because I'm like, that is just, that's, you know, I'm a Capricorn son. I don't have time to play games. I don't like games. I will not play games when it comes to matters of the heart. It is or it isn't. That's the way, that's just the way I am. Um, you know, very loving, very caring. But what this person was bringing forth, it was just like, it really triggered something in me. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, is this what a lot of the world is listening to? Is this what's going on? And so anyways, that's the end of that. <laughs> that's the end of that. But I was really shocked. And in that moment, it made me realize how appreciative I am of being able to go straight to the divine and ask for my direction and be shown. Okay, so I really feel like that's what's going on here. Be careful, uh, collective, who you get your information from. Um you know, again, it could be, it could work for some, depending on the timeline they're on, depending on the vibration they're in. But if you're higher vibrational and um, this has to do with any kind of relationship, even work relationship, I would definitely recommend going within using your own intuition and ask spirit to guide you either through dreams, side synchronicities, visions, clear audience, however that you receive information, okay? And trust that. All right, uh, please give me more with the tarot for Aries. What's the most important, please? Okay, reverse or upright? Upright, okay. So we have the page of pinnacle. Yeah, so a definite time of learning here, research. Um, but again, uh, as you research, use your intuition. Don't uh, just say, oh, well, this sounds interesting. No, go to God and make sure, you know, when I, when I research anything, I make sure that I am being divinely led there, okay? Because things can be or seem enticing, but then um, it's so easy that uh, we can be drawn into things that aren't true that's some kind of illusion okay uh because you have to remember keep in mind that a lot of things that are out there is for someone to make money 
okay some kind of business is behind it all right just like you know and i'm not dogging healthcare. I'm, I'm a retired nurse but when i became a nursing supervisor i quickly learned it's a business okay so so just keep that in mind use your intuition um Use your spiritual connection when you are doing any kind of learning, research, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're going to be doing concerning some kind of connection here. Okay. Spirit, give me a little more, please, about this page of Pinnacle. Give me a little more. Thank you. And we, yeah, Queen of Wands. I love it. Okay, so the Queen of Wands, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like it's telling me, you know, this is this is like a brand new passionate type of uh adventure. Okay. It's like ready to step out into the unknown. You know, you see the sunflower she's holding? That's a symbol of hope and belief, trust. And, you know, the Queen of Wands also, she has a lot of blooms and blossoms on this card. And that's telling me there's definitely some kind of something beautiful you're getting ready to step into that's really going to bring a lot of uh, maturity or blossoming some way, somehow. And as you do so, oh, yeah, look, you also have a lot of rose blooms, too, here. So whatever that you're going to be researching or are researching at this time is something to do with this Queen of Wands energy. You know, and the Queen of Wands um, is someone that has to basically take a leap of faith and trust, um, not knowing what's going to come, but basically following the heart, um, going after whatever the passion is, the desire is. Um, after doing some kind of research, though, and I feel like most of this research, if you see this person, you see the book, it's like spirits coming from this book. You see, I hope you could see that. So I feel like this is much more a spiritual type research or learning about this situation okay let's go ahead and go to the general guidance thank you spirit what's the most important guidance thank you look you have another sunflower okay so surrender low self-esteem you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Love it. Okay, anything else from this deck? No. Okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and go to the financial. Guys, this financial uh, guidance deck is new. I have shuffled until I just can't really shuffle anymore. <laughs> and... Uh, it's still challenging as they're getting broken in. So just please bear with me. Spirit, what is the most important financial guidance that you would like to give, please, for this reading? What's the most important financial guidance for this reading? here yes okay and we have any more no oh wait yes spirit just tell this one yes okay any more yes any more yes more oh okay thank you so the first one that we have that came out is the alchemist yes 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 okay so i really feel like where you have this low self-esteem card, it, it is a talking about um, 
setting an intention and understanding basically what you have to do how to prep yourself before setting that intention for it to manifest and we also have this page of cups that is underwater that is um basically immersing in this energy of release and allowing okay because if you think about it water cleanses away negativity so it's like cleansing out the negative everything purging and allowing the new to come in for whatever this two of cups means for you in your life okay so we have the alchemist so that to me that is like the temperance card the magician card um learning how to you know all, all of the uh what how do i want to say the spirit learning how to do all of the pretext things um prior to starting the intention and then also understanding which could be the research on something spiritual here learning how to actually manifest whatever this is okay mend the flow and i feel like with this mend the flow um i get i'm getting two things here for some of you i feel like some of you may have been having um or seeing in your life how maybe things haven't been opening up very well financially for you or in any area of abundance in your life okay um, and I feel like Spirit's saying that this is more of a go with the flow type thing. But for others of you, I feel like it's actually like men, it says mend the flow. I feel like that's saying the temperance card, the magician actually learning how to manipulate energy uh, to work in your favor. Um, and then we have Eon of excess i love this because that's going to bring you into a beautiful abundant energy here so it's like unlimited resources and if you could see it almost looks like she's walking through a portal here ah spirit's bringing me back look there's water down here yes go with the Flow, immerse yourself okay and then we have seasons of wealth yeah i definitely feel like because you know everything has a season i feel like what spirit's saying here is you know there are certain things that grow in certain seasons so if we plant a seed right now it's not going to automatically be present the next day usually right um seeds take time to grow uh, so you know that's something that we normally see and i feel like when it comes to something spiritual or love or abundance um where it's it's not actually always seen with the eye with the 3d eye i feel like sometimes we can start feeling like it isn't growing it isn't coming i manifested this but where is it right and I feel like Spirit's saying here, you know, when you set your intention, when you've, when you've released, you've immersed yourself in that water, you've released whatever you need to, and you've created extra energy to allow this beautiful, abundant energy to come in. Then when you set your intention with the understanding of right now, I'm planting this seed and I know that in divine timing, because the seed has to grow, I have to nurture that. I have to take action towards it. I have to do everything that I know to do and anything, you know, guys, what I do is, and it always works, um, is when I take action towards things um, in my 3D self, okay, I do everything that I know to do, right? But then once I have reached that point, then I go to spirit and I say, okay, I feel like I've done everything I know how to do. Is there more? Is there anything else I can do? And uh, 
uh, wait for information. And then if I'm not given anything or if I'm strictly told, no, you know, my part of it's done, then I stop taking action on it and I leave it in the hands of the universe. OK, and I trust and have faith that in divine timing, um, once it has grown to maturity or it's time to harvest that it will. OK, um, but I have no control as far as um, to make it. How can I say this? If I'm doing everything that I can and I'm being spiritually guided, there comes a point where once we give the rest of the control over to the universe, at that point, I no longer have control unless I change the intention again. OK, um, but if I leave it with the universe, trusting and knowing, hey, um, I know that this is going to manifest in divine timing then I can walk away from that and begin something new and put my focus on something new and know that when it's the right time, it's going to appear in my life. Okay. Uh, anything else, Spirit? Anything else for Aries? Anything else? Okay. That's it. I love you guys so, so much. May you have an extremely blessed and 